Um, which of the following conditions is most likely to predispose this patient to his current state? A 68-year-old man with a history of type 2 diabetes and coronary artery disease presents the emergency department with sudden onset of dizziness and palpitations. Uh, his blood pressure is 80 over 50, pulse 160, respiration, uh, respiratory rate 20, and ECG reveals a chaotic rapid rhythm with no distinct P waves, QRS complexes, or T waves. The um, patient loses consciousness and CPR is initiated. Um, so first of all, I would look at like the age of the patient. So he's pretty old. Mm -hmm. um, also his history of type two diabetes and coronary artery disease perhaps could like de I mean, predispose him to heart conditions like MI. Um, sudden onset of dizziness and palpitations, so it's an acute situation. Blood pressure is very low, pulse is high, and based off of the ECG, um, I think he was asystolic. So looking down at the potential choices, um, I would probably pick myocardial infarction. Okay. Final answer? Or, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bingo. You worked through that beautifully, right? Older person, diabetes, uh, coronary artery disease, and then acute setting, right? Um, palpitations. And all of a sudden, you know, he, it looks like he's in cardiogenic shock, right? That's what it looks like. And then ECG reviews, chaotic, rapid rhythm, no distinct P waves, QRS, uh, T waves. So what is this, if you were to think? Uh, Would it be torsots or? So more like uh, VFib. Oh, VFib, sorry. Yeah. So more like VFib. So um, you can't see anything. It's just all fluttering around, meaning your heart is not pumping. And of course, right, when that happens, VFib is like you're knocking on the door of death, right? Um, because your your ventricles are fibrillating. What that means is they're, they're vibrating, but they're not really pushing or relaxing, right? And if that's yeah. the case, then they can't pump out blood. And if you can't pump out blood, then you know your brain's going to go ischemic, right? Which is why you need to start CPR and then try to find a rhythm, right? Right. Okay, okay, good. And of course, if you get a, car a myocardial infarction or a heart attack, then it can throw, that's one of the dangerous things about a heart attack is you can mess up the conduction system of the heart and go into VFib. So, mm -hmm. 